Hello Church, in today's devotional, I want to share with you a new meaning for a word that we all use. It's in, it is in our vocabulary, so I just thought it was interesting to hear the new concept on the word, and I hope that you find it uh, helpful for you as well. So I'm talking about push, P-U-S-H. Based on the dictionary, push is uh, applying force to an object for this object to move. The new concept that I found uh, my sister shared with me and I thought it was great is that push can be read as pray until something happens. What a great concept to have in mind when we're praying. Pray until something happens. What does this really mean? It means that by praying, we are in a constant communication with God. By praying, we are believing that God is there to answer our questions and petitions. Pray until something happens. How many of us throughout our days, we pray maybe one or two times for what we need, and then sometimes we let that prayer on the side? Maybe because we were busy, maybe because we thought, mm, I don't know if I should be praying for for this right now, I don't know if it's God's right time. Maybe because we're disappointed that we have been praying for so long and we don't hear anything. I just want to say, pray until something happens. It's something that Jesus is a big advocate. He wants us to keep praying. As a matter of fact, in Luke chapter 18, Jesus himself taught his disciples a great parable in about praying and why not to give up on that. And it says, then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. He said, in a certain town, there was a judge who neither feared God nor cared about men. And there was a widow in the town who kept coming to him with the plea, grant me justice against my adversary. For some time he refused, but finally he said to himself, even though I don't fear God or care about men, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will see that she gets justice so that, that she won't eventually wear me out with her coming. Jesus is telling his disciples, just as this, as this lady kept asking the judge for, for justice, that God wants us to keep coming to God for our prayers. Don't give up, keep coming. In the actual parable, we see that the judge was a little bit annoying and he eventually gives or grants her what she needs and, and grants her justice. However, it's completely the contrary to the way that God reacts. When we come to God with our petitions, our praise report, our afflictions, we only find a God that is loving and he is ready to listen to us. We find a God that will be there for us regardless of what is the outcome of that prayer. So pray until something happens doesn't mean, and I want to be very clear with this, doesn't mean that we're praying for the outcome that we want. We will pray for the outcome that we want. Pray until something happens that it benefits me. Pray until something happens gives us the idea that we want to be in God's presence every day. We don't want to stop praying. We don't want to give up in our desires of our heart, but we want to bring them to the Lord. Regardless of the outcome, we should have hope that God is with us. If we read in Luke chapter 18, verse 8, it says, I tell you, he will see that they get justice and quickly. However, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? We want to be the kind of people that when Jesus comes for us, we want to be ready and we want to be, be people with faith. How do we get that faith? by being in constant communication with the Lord, by holding on, to know, holding on to know that God is our faith and our refuge, our hope. So when we pray until something happens, we're pretty much giving everything that, that it's in our hearts to the Lord, for the Lord to answer in His time and in His perfect will. Church, Pray until something happens because God 
wants to hear from you. Amen.